until this lovely game showed up. <gasps> no, not the moose. Not the moose that's been to prison. I sure wish this toilet seat was open. Uh, hoi there. My name is Wifey Well, but you may call me Wifey, and today we're back playing some more Fallout 4. And at the very end of the last episode, we unlocked this new home, Neon Flats. And I thought it was something that we could run through in the last minute of the episode until we found a, like, secret key, I think is what it said. We'll go back and look. But, um... What we're going to do is do a tour of this place so I can inspect it thoroughly. Maybe we'll find that secret room. So right when you get off the elevator, I'm seeing this kind of workshop area. We've got a washer and a dryer, and it is a front-loading washer. I am not interested in a front-loading washer. We're going to have to get a top-loading washer. Front-loading washers, ugh. They're so hard to keep clean, even if you leave the little door open. And they still somehow manage to get mold. You can wipe them out, and they still just smell musty. You can think it's dry, and it's not dry. I hate front-loading washers. I'll try not to go on a tangent. <laughs> At the beginning of the episode, I'll try not to complain too much. This kind of like little hallway of junk. Here's a mudroom. Realize I was too busy complaining about the washer. To address the mudroom, I do like a mudroom. Refrigerator is looking pretty, pretty standard. I can't open it because it's um, storage. Kitchen cabinets, a bread box, mm, stove, espresso, diffuse box, which I do remember turning this off at the end of the last episode and nothing happened. So what is this for? I'm guessing it's just to string up some electrical stuff if we want to add anything to this place. So that was the kitchen, and I'm not seeing dining. I guess this is like a little coffee nook here, but I don't see a proper dining area either. Tisk tisk. So we've got these terminals. I did not check them. We're going to be checking them. And so far, nothing's really standing out to me as a secret room. Like you'd think it would be up here, up in the ceiling, like drop down an attic maybe. But at the same time, this place is so modern. I have to wonder if there's a false wall or something. We're going to keep looking. We're going to keep looking. This place is rather modern. I guess this could, I mean, it's more of a lounging area. If this window wasn't here, you could mount a telly. I guess you could set a telly. Oh yeah, this says TV cabinet. I guess you could set a telly there. Oh. You can hear people outside. I don't like that either. This house gets a zero out of a ten. Uh, I'm just complaining just to complain, I think. Neon Flats Inventory Terminal. Honestly, I'm just happy to be able to record today. I'm very sorry, again, that there was no video Saturday. Especially after there not being any videos two Saturdays in a row due to the um, holidays. And then, you know, I had planned for there not to be videos those Saturdays. And then this last Saturday, I um, I just had the most awful migraine. And I know I've talked about ocular migraines recently on the channel too. I don't get any pain with my ocular migraines, interestingly enough. Hmm. But uh, when I get a, a regular migraine, oh my goodness. I can't even open my eyes without needing to vomit, basically. Maybe that's PMI, but they are something else. And I was just, I was just in bed. I basically lost the weekend. But that's okay. I'm much better now, so no worries. I realized I better grab those bottle caps. I grabbed that ammo. Um, again, nothing's standing out to me, so I guess... 
There's a lot going on in this room. Um, we got our bed. I guess let me grab the key. Maybe it'll give me a quest. Maybe I don't even... I want, I want the bottle caps. I might leave the Nuka-Cola Quantum for decor. And I may need to leave these bottle caps too because it's risky business trying to get these. Alright, fine. Hmm. No, no quest popped up. I do need to find it myself. We'll see how long that takes me. There's a restroom. Okay, yes. Some clean towels. This is a very um, generously sized shower. Me and Ada could fit in here if we wanted. Well, I don't know if Ada wants to get electrocuted. There is two. Two. Uh... Oh, no, those are just towels. I was thinking those are robes, but no. What is this? Am I supposed to know what this is? I'm guessing a, maybe like a makeup vanity? Question mark? I don't know. Because these look like outlets and then like this is a little flip up mirror. So maybe. Never seen this in my life. This place is too fancy. Also, we've, you've got soap to wash your booty, but no toilet paper. What am I supposed to do in here? Oh, well. Um, well, I guess I need to start poking and prodding everything. So first at the bathroom, hopefully this doesn't take me the whole episode. If it does, I'll have to just do a cut, but let me do like a first sweep of every room. It'd be cool if it was the toilet. We could do like a, uh, Ministry of Magic and Harry Potter and go down the toilet to get in. Like, I'm suspicious of the duct work, of course. But, you know, I've only played a couple couple spy games. I've played, um, what's it called? Splinter Cell Double Agent? Or is it just Tom Clancy's Double Agent? I don't know. I don't know. I loved that game. Wait. Oh, that was easy. Good, because my only other experience was Secret Agent Barbie. Hmm. Well, I don't think that was even an option when I was looking at it. Because I, I, I spent a lot of time looking at this wall, I would say, because I was trying to get these bottle caps, which now, interestingly, I can take with no issue. But yeah, I think I would have noticed... That. So maybe it didn't appear until you grabbed the key. And it's literally right next to the key, too. So, I mean, I guess good for me, right? Because now I don't have to worry about this. So, Neon Flats Private Terminal. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. We've got some good stuff in here, you guys. What is this? I'm hitting E. I'm hitting E, you piece of crap. And what is that, too? Is that just circuitry again? <sighs> oh, I wish I was taller. Maybe it's decor. But it clearly says neon bar light activate. Maybe I need to... I mean, it was on, but... Maybe it's on this terminal. I'm gonna see this winter jacket. Architect, ooh, 50? Wait a minute, that's really nice. I mean, there's no other boost. Oh wait, no it does, it gives a perception one. I almost didn't see that. Um, okay, let me, I don't know. This will probably replace all my armor, won't it? Yes, sir, it did. Besides my eyebot helmet, which I've grown very attached to recently. Ooh. I don't know, this might be too cool for me. I don't think I'm qualified to wear something this cool. I feel like I would really fit in with the Adam Cats wearing this though. I don't even know where Ada is, she just keeps talking. Okay, and then the Troubleshooters Gen 4 10mm pistol. Gen 4. 
I've seen some talk of the gens um, in regards to synth. 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 I can, you guys know I can't say that word. Uh, does 50% more damage against robots. Okay. I mean, it certainly looks sick. It's very snazzy. I love the kind of dark auburn, uh, the red specks in the brown. Okay. We get it. I like the pistol. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I do appreciate it. I guess I'll check this terminal for- no. Don't shoot the terminal. Oh, wait. This says snow too. Is this okay? I guess. Couldn't tell you what this is. Latin? If God created a man in his own image, he did so at his own peril. After all, what prevents a man from staring him in the face and declaring him his equal? Maybe the word I can't say. <laughs> Since. Would, would have rebelled regardless. But the robotics team created them in their own image, so it doesn't surprise me if the synths think they're human. Oh man, this terminal is going to kill me, isn't it? But this project is different. The machine at the heart of this complex bears no resemblance to me. Or rather, I place none of myself in it. Of course, my colleague Dr. Bennett often reminds me that sentience doesn't require a human form to know itself. Um, so again, I think this is Latin. I'm going to kind of look it up. So it's, I think, therefore I am, is what that translates to in Latin. So I think, therefore I am, as it were, I think, oh, I think, therefore I am. Yet I wonder if he'd be as impressed with snow as he is with the machines that smile on his face. Hmm. Automated lights. The other night I stumbled to the bathroom looking for a switch when suddenly the lights came on without prompting. When I examined the code the next day, Snow not only had updated its own software, it provided a list of hardware improvements that could provide even more functionality. It could light up rooms, clean the air, and warm the toilet. It did so while lowering the overall energy usage by efficiently turning systems on and off depending on whether they were in use. I would have slapped myself in the face if my jaw wasn't on the floor. After relating this story to Dr. Bennett, he's taken an interest in the project. He's sending over someone from his department to examine the code. Their experience with robotics and artificial intelligence should provide some additional insight. The Turing test. As happy as I am with the results, the pace of Snow's self-learning algorithm has become a point of concern. Earlier this morning, I attempted to change the automated lighting profile and the system refused to comply. After running an override, I noticed the system wasn't actually trying to save energy. It was diverting power to its central processing unit. I submitted a Turing test immediately, and while it didn't pass, it failed in such a spectacular manner that it makes me suspicious. Is it possible the machine has figured out the intent of the test itself? Pretty sus. It may be time to reset the entire system back to the original code. It's a shame considering how much progress has been made, but it's not worth the risk. I have contacted both the robotics team and the SRB, and they promised to send a cleanup crew within 24 hours. Have I read this message? I don't think I have. I'm worried it was on the terminal downstairs. The SRB, the synth robotic babies. We've got babies coming to fix, I don't know. I don't know what SRB is. Lobby terminal logs, old logs. Um, I see, maybe this is what I read. I do remember about the elevator being offline. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I've read this. Good, I don't have to say the word synths anymore because, uh, I can't say that. I can't say six. You guys know this if you've been watching for a bit. Um, it's actually really funny that um, I would get so many comments um, that you guys like my voice 
and things like that or just the way I speak or the uh, the pace um, in which I say the words and I was in speech therapy for multiple years in elementary school and I I can talk decently well now it's just sixth I thought sixth s-i-x-t-h was the only word until this lovely game showed up <gasps> no not the moose not the moose that's been to prison but yeah since I started playing this game now I can't play or I can't say since either I sure wish this toilet seat was open gotta get rid of that moose pitcher Oh no, now I gotta fix this. Beautiful, beautiful, okay. Let's see what's on these terminals. I imagine, oh, okay, I was gonna think, I was thinking it'd be the same stuff downstairs, but I guess that doesn't make sense. Uh, da -da -da -da. Turns off temperature, heats room, adds coolant. Ooh, we want cool. I love the cold. All right, lighting, activated manually, automated functions unavailable, I'll hit on, maybe that's why I couldn't get that light on in the one room. Oh, well, what's the point in that? We don't need two that do the same thing. Which room was it? It was here. Damn it. Maybe I need to hit no. Double damn it. Why isn't this light working? Is it... Mm. You know, I don't know. I don't know, and now I don't care. So we've got armor workbench, weapons workbench. We've got the workbench in the front. Inventory terminal we haven't looked at yet. Inventory management. Ooh, so this was Bennett's uh, terminal. He has two institute, institute renegade outfits. One, oh, he withdrew one. He deposited this good stuff. Uh, light control. Login unknown. Accessed BIOS control. Hmm. Is there any other terminals? No, so is that it for here? By golly, I think it is. We did not discover the secret to the bar light. Ah, it's bright. They don't seem bright until you look right into them. I think, I think I'm gonna call this good. I think it's good and explored, right? Hopefully I didn't miss any thing. I kind of expected there to be some hollow tapes to listen to. So that's why I'm kind of jumping all over the screen right now, double checking, because I'm, I don't know. Felt, felt like there'd be more story, but I guess not. That's fine. Uh, the place still needs toilet paper though. Guess I could wipe with this. I sure wish I could figure out how to turn it. Dang it. I'm sorry, my water bottle just popped. This is what I get for being healthy and drinking water. Get a bunch of background noise. I can't, I can't figure it out. I don't care. I don't care. I'm out of here. I'm on to do other things which need to be done. Do I need to take this elevator again? Can I just take this I one? Oh, hi, Ada. 
I'm glad that you magically reappeared. So one fun thing about, oh, it's not fun. I was going to say one fun thing about having this place is the dead bodies. I actually think they've been gone. They were gone when I walked up here too. Darn. The corpses would keep any would-be robbers away. Would you walk into a place full of dead bodies and continue to rob it? No, exactly. You wouldn't. Or maybe you would. Maybe I would, actually. I've got this cool outfit on, after all. Which reminds me, I need to take this bad boy off. I need to put back on, um, whatever stuff it was I was wearing. All these beautiful starred items. Here we go. Although, yeah, I think altogether this adds up. This is 86, plus these bonuses, plus all these bonuses. It's not worth wearing this. It would be if I could wear this, like, over my armor. That's too bad. That's too bad. Probably be for a companion. Who do I want to make look super snazzy? Super snazzy. Not Ada. She's already got her snazzy high heels that she trots around the place like a horse in. Like a show horse. Okay, I'm distracted. Uh, here's the exit. So we still need to completely explore Good Neighbor. And I'm kind of dying to do that. But I also know that I usually balance out questing episodes with uh, settlement building episodes. And we have not done any settlement building in a while. And as much as I'm itching to... Go through and explore Good Neighbor thoroughly. I'm equally itching to go back to the Starlight Drive-In and work on that a bit. We've got quite a bit more materials, so I think now that's I what I'm going to do. What a flying ship. <laughs> that's the guy I heard disturbing my peace. Okay, so to the starlight so if you haven't seen what i've been working on you can get a little a little peek before i end the episode which way here it is okay here we are oh i shouldn't have came this way uh oh wait that's a brahmin we gotta help the brahmin Ada, help! Ada, help! Oh my god, we saved the Brahmin! Find anything useful? Run, Brahmin, run! I do like the Brahmin. And then, just a Mr. Handy, chillin'. Well, we did our good deed for the day, didn't we? So this is Starlight. I've been working on it for a bit. I think there's what, like 20 episodes of it now? They're all they're all marked. They have like a matching thumbnail so that they're easy to watch. But we are fancy here. Wait, it's you. As honest, as honest work gets. Who are you? Who are all these people? Wait a minute, I forgot. I had on my settlement recruitment beacon. I thought I'd get like a notification that we have recruited people. And I I didn't. There's just people. Farm's not much, but it's something. Right? I think that's what this is. I just want to trade a few things. Sure thing. Are you part of the settlement? I guess let's get into the building that's not see i don't even remember which button it is to build that's how long it's been it's saying eight beds is no longer enough we have nine people oh my gosh they're so rough and and rugged looking all of them they need their fancy clothes well we gotta shut off this beacon we've got we've got a lot going on now oh man where is it oh this is a light pole Oh, this is a power... Where the hell is my beacon? Oh, it has been a while. It has been a while. Gosh, I think the last time we were building it was... Mm, two months ago, maybe? I don't know. We've done a lot of exploring. 
So, settlers, where's the dinner bell? Did I keep the dinner bell out? I sure did. Let us see who all is here now. Dinner! Come get some radiated pickles. So we got you. I like I like the hat. What do, what do the young folks say? I like the, the drip. Right? The drip. I like the hat. I like the hat. What's going on? Nothing. I'm just checking out everybody. Ooh, you're kind of fancy for this place a little bit. I mean, it's dirty, but you, you got the memo. You got the memo. I like. So we've got, I see four. Is that right? Four newbies? We're going to have to get these guys ship shape very, very soon. Um, so anyway, I'm totally distracted again as usual. That was a temporary building. Ignore it. It's not staying recently built this little date area ignore that too it's actually super cute and cozy at night and this is the arcade slash art gallery i know kind of random kind of random but i enjoy it and that's what matters right i enjoy it this is the arcade all this stuff still needs to be decorated definitely a work in progress Someone moved my stool. That is not how you move the stool back. I am not in building mode. Dang it. Get up. Get up. Exit. No. E. What is it? <laughs> oh, man. I'll, I'll fix the stool later. I'm mad at the stool now. Somebody definitely wasn't taught manners and they did not scooch their stool in. And then they built these cute little restrooms. Very adorable. And then this is going to be an outdoor dining area as this down here is going to be like a bar restaurant serving area. It's going to be good. So if you want to see me continue to work on this, definitely tune in for the next episode. But I think that is going to be it from me for now. So as always, I hope that you enjoyed. I appreciate you being a well watcher and I will see you again very soon. Bye!